Good morning, children. I'm so glad you joined me today. Let us first pray together. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time and won't you speak to us now also. Amen. Amen. I hope you love singing as much as I love singing. When I was smaller, I wanted to sing along um, when we were singing at the school. But sometimes I didn't know the words. But then I would watch the teacher's lips and see what words can I sing and how can I move my mouth that I can sing along. And then I learned all the words of the song. The song that I learned when I was that small goes like this. Now, Ms. Mayaga, what does this song mean? Lelik Tulore, it's Kazani, Molum Lesgis, who see, the Lord loves me, and I know that the Lord loves me. Now, this is a song about the Lord Jesus. Lelik Tulo, being in Kosu Jesu. And it's very, very good that you and me sing about the Lord Jesus. For to win the end, what you mean, and now we sit Ule in Kosu Jesu. Not that we just sing any old how or we don't sing because we don't know the words. But, but that we sing with all our heart. In many songs there are many different messages. At Christmas time we sing about how the Lord Jesus came to earth as a little baby and then how he came to save us from our sin. Other songs speak of how the Lord Jesus died on the cross for us. We sing away in a manger. Always sing on a hill far away. No, You know, sometimes when we little, we get scared quickly. But when I am scared, and when you are scared, then we can sing this next song that I learned when I was in grade two. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. When I am afraid, I will trust in you. Psalm 56 verses 3. If the Lord Jesus is there, we don't need to be afraid. And when we sing this song, the devil needs to run away. You know, in many different things, if we sing, the devil needs to run away from us. Can you sing and be angry at the same time? 
Or can you be sad and sing at the same time? No, ma unga pate gasa kota ubukula. So if we sing, we can chase the sadness away and we can chase the angry away. Uma skula zikosa gongu tuktela no dabuga upagatigit. Or if um, the devil comes and he wants us to think something bad, then we can sing and then we can chase the devil away. Other times you're not so, you need to do the dishes or help mom in the house and you don't feel like it, but then you can sing. And then it's very easy to help. And it goes so quickly. And you know, it's not only for yourself that you can sing, you can sing for the next person. When you sing, the next person can be helped. You can tell other people of the Lord Jesus when you sing. Sometimes we can sing with the school for other people. Or we sing for the church. We can tell of the Lord Jesus and what he did for us when we sing. And then it's very important to know the words of the song. Sometimes it's not so easy when they are big words, but if you learn them and sing it often, then you can learn all the words. And some songs have even Bible verses as their words. When you learn the song, you have also learned the Bible verse. And then you can sing it and that word of the Lord can be in your heart. Now, do you see all these instruments here? When I was small, I started learning to play the piano. And I like it very much. And to learn to play an instrument teaches you very many different things. You learn to practice every day and be faithful in that. And then if you play with other people, you learn to play together. And always when we play, we need to play for the Lord's glory. That it brings glory and praise to His name. We can praise God through singing and through playing instruments. <coughs> My instrument. You remember King David in the Bible? When he was smaller, he used to look after the sheep. And the Bible tells us that he had a harp and he used to play on the harp. And he sang to the Lord when he was there with the sheep. And many, many of the Psalms have are songs. And if you read often, they include instruments. 
David could play so well that he could even play for King Saul. David was a little girl, and he was a little girl, and he was a little Remember when King Saul called David that they need to, that he needs to play the harp for him. King Saul was troubled by an uh, evil spirit. But when David played, King Saul could be very quiet. God could use his playing. But remember one day when, when David was playing for King Saul, and King Saul was angry and he wanted to kill David. And he threw a spear to David. But David was kept safe by the Lord Jesus. The enemy, the devil, wants to have us dead and he doesn't want us to sing and play. But the Lord Jesus can help us. Because singing and singing to the Lord Jesus is a big weapon. As I said, it can chase the devil away. And it can make us happy in our hearts. And we can be a light through our singing. I hope you remember to sing a lot. And remember, even if you don't understand all the words of the song, you can learn them all. And then the Lord Jesus can help you through those songs one day. Thank you very much. Shall we still pray? Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time and we thank you for all that you have spoken to us. Lord Jesus, help us that through our song and through our playing the instruments that we would praise you. Thank you very much that you gave us the ability to sing. Be with us in the rest of the day, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice.